Hi, let us start working with the Hibernate in the Eclipse. In the previous video, we have learned how to set up the Hibernate in the Eclipse. So, in this video session, we are going to do some CRUD operations by means of Hibernate in the database. If you see here, here uh, we have a table called worker in the database. Um, we are going to represent the table in our project with this worker.java. This is the POJO class. So, this uh, POJO class is going to map with this table in the database by means of this file, hbm file, worker.hbm.xml. On this um, uh, hbm file is going to be mapped with this table. By, um, in this hibernate configuration file. So in this configuration file we are going to make sure that this HBM file is mapped with this table in the database. So let us do it in the hibernate configuration file. So in our existing um, hibernate configuration file we, are go uh, we have added these two elements. These two are new elements in our file. So this uh, HBM2 DDL uh, this element is actually it is a tool uh, provided by the hibernate so it has values like a uh, update and create and validate and so on so now we are going to use this update value well this uh, by, by means of this uh, tool with this value we are going to um, use a wor worker table in the database so if it is not there by means of this, um, so this tool will be created. Uh, it creates the table, worker table in the database. Or else, if uh, it's already existed, it will make the use of the table. So that is the use of this property element. Let us save this one. And we'll create a new package in here. Let's create a POSO class. Worker. Int worker ID. Name. Salary. Well, our proposal class is ready now. Let's see this one. As we have already mentioned here in the Hibernate configuration file that we are going to have a HBM file, worker.hbm.xml file under resources so well we are now going to create a new file under resources this is a worker hbm file on um, in this way we have id name and salary so here the id is actually our primary key in the table so for id for the primary key we are having like this we will be having a generated class for primary column. So this generated class will be having a values like assigned and increment, sequence, and foreign, and so on. So in our case, we have been using this assign because ID we are going to assign and the remaining columns name and salary. So the property elements will be like this. So this represents the field name in the worker class I mean poser class and this represents uh, the name um, in the database in the database table okay let's
let's save this let us insert the values into the database table uh, so for that we need to have another class let's create a class Well, this is the code so up to here we have already seen in, uh, in our previous video so, this configured method so it reads all the contents of the hibernate configuration file from the mentioned location and this build session factory so uh, it gets the driver pass username url password from the jvm and creates a connection pool and uh, it picks one connection from the connection pool and establishes a connection with the database it checks and makes sure that uh, tables uh, table is actually available in the database so up to here uh, we are clear so far right and this open session so it is just like a getting a session object and uh, uh, it is like a getting a connection object actually well so this is what we are having a new well uh, transaction so begin transaction it is just like a begin uh, starting a transaction with the database <coughs> so here we are having a this work on this POSO class we are actually setting the values for the POSO class and here we are save the session so we are saving the session saving the current session and um, committing transaction so we are actually committing the transaction to the database and we are closing the current session so this is what we are doing in here let's print us message here for successful completion Save this and let us test this one. Before test this one, uh, let us see the database whether we have the uh, table worker already in the database or not. Well, we don't have. We don't have the table uh, worker in the database currently. Okay, let's test this. Well, we got the successful message here. Let's test the database again. We got it. Let us open the table and see. Well, our inserted values are presented in the table. Okay, that's it. Thanks for watching. Thank you.